my next one is short and sweet, but it's just, it's hilarious. So we talked about, I believe it was last week or the week before we talked about like, there's a, there's a time in our lives where that switch, that social radar that says, you know, you should filter something out just isn't there. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was walking through an assisted living facility the other day and there just wasn't even going to see these people, but I was kind of walking past these two older gentlemen talking next to the door. And, uh, as I'm walking, I hear the conversation and one guy goes, Oh, it's beautiful out there. It's going to be even nicer tomorrow. They say, and the guy goes, yeah. And the first guy goes, I think I'm going to go do some archery. And the other guy without missing a beat just goes, I hate archery and just stared at him. And that was it. And they were, then they just like, they just walked away. But I was like, who the fuck? And in, in like a cordial conversation, we were like, I'm going to go do some archery. So I was like, I hate archery. No explanation. Right. No explanation. No, just, and that was it. That was a conversation. But it was like, there, there is just a point in people's lives when they get older, where they just, they just say whatever's on their mind. Like there's no, there's no filter. There's no lag between like having some sort of a thought process to navigate some sort of a social norm. They just don't care. They, they have no care in the world. I mean, that, honestly, that sounds like kind of a conversation that you and I may have, you know, you yeah. being the guy that's saying, oh, it's, it's beautiful out today. I think I'm going to start the day by going out and jumping in my ice bath. And does that not seem like an unfiltered response that I may have to you? Yeah. Yeah. You, it's you true. dumb You'd motherfucker. Like, yeah. You idiot. What are you doing? Yeah. That's true. Maybe these guys are best friends. I don't know. They're just, it just came out of nowhere. And I had the, another, another situation too, where there was a, in a different living facility, they were going around giving drinks out for something. And, uh, they were, they were handing out like sodas and this lady goes, yeah, we have, we have Coke, Pepsi and diet Coke. And the lady yeah. goes, I want to, oh, they the, love one, of the diet residents, Coke. one of the residents goes, I want a Sprite. <clears throat> she was like, we don't have Sprite. And she goes, why not? She's like, we have Coke, Pepsi and diet Coke. And she goes, why don't you have Sprite? And she was like, oh. And she just, she, she went on and on. And I was just walking down the hallway, laughing my ass off. Cause I'm like, she told you twice what she had. They don't have Sprite. Move on, Karen. You don't need Sprite. Get the Diet Coke. Go back in. Watch your Wheel of Fortune. You'll be okay. It's just, Fucking don't, Karens, don't care. man. Yeah. Fucking they, Karens. They never, they never age out of, of being a Karen, you know? Yeah. Well, I wonder if they're going to find in research in the future that there's like something molecular wrong with these individuals, you know, like they maybe oh. just spend a little too much time in the birth canal. It's like some oxygen deprivation or something like that. I, I don't know. It's all the zinc or what is it? Uh, it's all the lead and the paint whenever they were kids, just licking walls. Oh shit. So you think Karen's are going to be around in the future? Psych. Dude, Karen's are always going to be, uh, they've, find they've always been there and they are always will be. There were like Karens back in, the, back in the caveman days. There were still Karens. I guarantee you, you know, fucking bitching at their husbands for not making the fire fast enough or like their wheel wasn't as good as so-and-so's wheel in the cave next door or something like that. You know, I've seen cave drawings of, be. I've seen cave drawings of, of like a, a lady with a, with Karen or on top of it, like yelling at a group of people. And then the next scene next to it is just that Karen with just eight spears in her. So I think people mm. have been dealing with him ever since the caveman days. And what do you think? Maybe we should bring back that, uh, maybe we should bring back that type of judgment onto Karen's today. Just like if you're a Karen, eight spears. Spears. Yep. I mean, I'm not opposed. I think as long as there's an, I think we have to be fair and maybe there should be a unanimous decision. Like maybe majority rules doesn't go there, but if there's a, if you have a committee of 30 people and everybody's like, yeah, spear, Give her the I spear. think that sounds that sounds fair to me. Like I, and I think even the Karen would be like, listen, <clears throat> all 30 of them said yes. I, I guess Dude, the yeah, Karen maybe. would find something to bitch about. You're, you're a fool. Yeah. Again, you're a fool. Right. Count the know. votes. <laughs> recount, <laughs> recount. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Again, it's a democracy, you know, give the people what they want. If, if what they it's want true. is a, a Karen on eight, on eight pikes or on, you know, floating outside of your gates of the city, then that's what you got to give them. Oh, 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 oh